Womane! Eh! Womane! Eh! Womane! Asalo una mauma ndemo. Asalo una mauma ndem for all over the world. Asalo una. For whichever place wona do wona the world is my take life. Wona na dey na for Africa or na dey for Europe or na dey for America. Asalo una o. Una welcome for my take life. I am so excited. I'll be so happy say um I don't come live today again Monday. Sorry, say last week. Um, I know be day live for one healthy dish for Monday. Um, for those who don't want to join my take live for our first time today, Mondays then my take the come live with one healthy dish. And so today dish would be make na kai saute with baked radish. So for my front here, I don't know what I want to see my front. But for my front here, I get my kai. I so kai day. I did bring them because I know I don't tell when I say, I never cut them because I want to see how they look. So that if I go market, when I go know where to where, when I define them. So now kai this. And then, I radish this for my bowl. So I go bake the radish. We will go use them for chop. The kai saute. What you notice them? Now vegetable. Take and chop vegetable. Now so. So I take my root vegetable, take and chop my green vegetable. And wait till why I do so? Because like I don't always tell you now, my take Monday life now for promote healthy eating. The purpose for Monday life now for promote healthy eating. And especially for, for also make use of these vegetables and way. It be commonly used vegetable the world is same abroad for make a may be for our own taste but when I know we get our own way way would you like more vegetable than be for Africa the way we would make a vegetable than be a little bit different from them for them for yeah most of them go and chop kyle they go just cut it so chop and roll like salad the life of miss their kale if you go you go see kale salad you go see and where they go just make a more like salad but when I know we know mm -hmm. Will not be over fans for salad, so for just take the kai, so put them for your mop the chopper. So now, why way now? Why way I did come with this better way for make a way we if you go market to we'll buy kale, we'll use them chop and day where we'll go enjoy them. And if we never know about kale, now una una google them, it gets so much nutrients. Now, one of the highest dense nutrient packed vegetables and where they are around. Now, why we are deciding more using? If you don't use kyle, if you nobody use kyle more than take note, if you go around shop them for here, especially for US here, you go see kale salad, you go see all kind of thing. When you go hospital, where your doctor they look and say your, your hemoglobin, when are they, are they, are the parameters are they looking for blood for your skin. If you look and say your hemoglobin they low, they will advise you for take iron or they will advise you for take iron dense vegetable. Now you want this. Kyle. Kyle and spinach, they be one of the best vegetables the way they be good in where they get a lot of iron in it. Kyle not only be good for iron, Kyle also get um, be rich in many vitamins like vitamin A, K and B. And most importantly, you also get potassium and magnesium, some of your elements and where you need them. So, now a very healthy vegetable. But as always, chop na cultural thing. If na no no, chop na something where they use them for identify person in culture. Why? Because every culture, people they get way where they like for chop, for cook their chops on specific way. So now why we might take the come in. My goal for my tenor for break that bridge where we will get them, which we own where we will like with things and for being made. So that will fit the enjoy vegetable the two way then they here for abroad because not I mean at all time where would you see the vegetable the way we like and back home. For example, I know many of my sisters the way they here where they go market, they go see this kale, but they're not gonna pick them because they're not gonna know what to do with the kale. So now why we are bring it? And the goal I want to make them, I want to make the kale 
to where, where we would like for chop vegetable. Like I talk again, chop now one of the things where they talk about culture. Where we identify person in culture and based on which the person you chop. So the way where you do chop not be bad thing. Now just you do chop so because now so you grow up. Now so we see and we mami na mami then they make them and now so we grow for make them. So we will not be too good in say we want eat kyle as a as a salad raw. We na know for for where we will be used to. If we want the things that we feature up and raw, we feature up. We na know no we know lettuce. What you use them for salad? Then you use lettuce for yeah. So in a sense, what I want to say. I'm going to say, I want to encourage we may we feed the chop more kale. And so today, I go make a kale saute way. It go be for we taste, but for the way we, we know we African way, we way we will feed chop them and we will enjoy them. So, what do I go do? I go saute the kale. But I just give when I head up for me, so that I want to understand how the kale saute be. For my Cameroon people, they want to know how one they make green. How on the saute green with onion and tomatoes. You put your, your, your small oil there. You fry them with your protein. Now just so where you go make it. If you make kai that same way, so instead of use their green or their spinach, where you want to use and saute them, you feel use kai. If you use kai for replace that green way, you will not get them for you. It's the same like you can even use kai to replace your ndole. Mm -hmm. It will come out very nice. So, Sometimes we need to eat the things, we need to chop the things the way we like them because we need to see them. So now the reason for my take Monday life is now for break that bridge so that we fit the chop more of the vegetable the way they be common for year. So, hey, before I dive into cooking, anyone we do online, I bet we can share, 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 share the video so that others if you join we for this my take life. When I share, share, share the video, share them for on our Facebook page, for share them for on our Facebook page, always want to do and say, when I touch on our screen some more for this live button, go on that, so arrow, the way the point go out, you put that arrow, you click share. If you ask you what for WhatsApp and for Facebook, any place you want to share them, type, type, choose the one the way you want to share them, you share them, so that other people feel watch you because these tips are what they do, and so this is my little healthy dish, and so I know say it goes a long way because a lot of people, they, they need to feature up these things because they don't know how for cook them. So we go get the kai saute and then we go chop them with radish. I never move cut the radish just because say I want as always I want show now how we radish and I say they small purple. So today me I go do it I go bake the radish. You know say when you bake them it come out very nice. It be a good replacement for your potatoes. A very good potatoes replacement. Again radish and vegetable too where they chop and raw for you. So you go easily see radish where they chop and raw or if you even see radish, where sometimes they, they roast them, roast radish. So me, I will do bake one. If you roast them, if you eat them raw, you feel bake them. So today, I will do bake one. When I don't see, I hope soon I watch my video. Then I get another one where I make radish, where I use radish for make a healthy spaghetti option. So I use radish in many different ways for cook my radish from my house. So that's the way we go there. By the way, I hope so all who I want to do online. When I watch my take a video where it be drop out this Saturday, when I be watch my video where it be drop out this Saturday where it pass, uh -huh. time is irrelevant to success. In other words, innovate. Innovate for you for achieve any of those your dreams and way you wish for. I told that time because I know a lot of people the way. Then you put a pause to their destiny because they look and say, oh, I don't too old for start this new thing. Oh, I don't too old. Oh, how about my age? How about this? Age is just a number. Forget more for what you are talking inside that video. When I go watch them. When I find that video for my Facebook page for My Take by Gina F. And when I find that video for my YouTube channel when I just My Take by Gina F for YouTube. If you go for YouTube, you don't forget for subscribe. If you never yet subscribe, I will really appreciate that. So... We will go now for, for start cook. Wait till I do now. Say before I start cook my chop, I will first do I tell when I want to bake my, my radish. So for bake the radish, I just simply do it. Put on my oven. I'll just put my oven. I want to put them, I'll put them for bake. But I'll put them for high bake because I want me it, it not to stay for fire. So I'll put them for 425 degrees. Very soon I will bring my, my this thing for this side. But I'll put them for 425 degrees, then I put bake. So why I put an answer and I say may it preheat. 
And so, so that may preheat now while I put them on so. The thing I like with this my with this my cooking, if I don't notice my cooking, my cooking now uh, fast man cooking. It may take too much time. So I don't bring down so I hope so I see my table. So I'll first of all move my my Kyle, I'll come back to him. I'll put on one side. I don't put my oven for bake, so I'll come with my radish. So when I see the radish, now in this so small, small. What you all do with the radish, I'll just take and put them for my template here. Simple what I'll do, I'll just cut them for middle. Just open them. Like that. When you open radish, you see how they come all white inside. Now all that. I'll just open them. So that make it so they made the heat penetrate inside the thing faster. Now all that. So you just want to open it. So if you, me, I do my own in half, you can do your own any way, way you like them. So this radish is skin be eatable. So now why run it? Peel them. You know, they like potatoes where you get for moving skin. In fact, some potatoes are you don't need for move skin for potatoes. So if you cook the radish, even chop the skin. So yeah, you just go, you open them. If you see some Roots extend them for the way you don't want that. You just cut them, move them. You just chop them. So that's what I'm doing. Why I do one so where I don't put my oven. You put one for put your oven made the preheat. Right now, so that's why I don't do my oven the preheat. Now easy, easy chop this. For make this chop, takes you about 30 minutes. And then you don't get your chop ready. Where you go? You and your family will chop them. So what I simply do, I cut, split them, cut them into two. We'll open them. And then for seasoning them, why they can't season them now? For me, for my seasoning them, for give a taste, I did put black pepper and Oregon for my seasoning. But you if you put your own seasoning where you like them. If I don't notice, um, so me, I need to cook with salt. Might take the promote healthy eating. So when I come with my cooking, I know we expect, I know, I know expect for sea salt and um, sugar. Because salt and sugar are things they won't want to do away. So I don't simply cut them. You take your pan where you want bacon day. And my pan is one bacon day. So what I do with my pan, I will just spray. A little bit of oil. So I just get my avocado oil while you use them. I'll just spray my avocado oil for the pan. I spray and just so that made the pan more tight. Once you don't spray them, you put everything for your pan. It no matter if you, the head open up or if it dead down, it no really matter. So I get that one now. And so you don't open up for your pan. So you, you want to get a pan where you know so you will be able to spray again a little bit on top. That one avocado. Then I wait till I do, I put black pepper. And I just black pepper this way. I just lightly spray them over it. For give my little taste on it. So you just spread black pepper. It just make a maybe may color maybe dark this one are oregon at this one i know oregon are one of italian vegetable until i use a lot of time for their pasta so you just sprinkle your oregon for taste now this one day so it don't be ready i'll put it for oven for 15 minutes it will just cook and brown it will cook where it no go be too soft so your yeah, tray this and when my oven make bing 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 my oven over here maybe bing 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 over here ready you know preheat finish while my oven and when my oven preheat i'll move it for one side then now i get my kale once you know i want to talk with kale and i say why well, they do a little bit different when i cook my kale and i say but the kale get this um strong stem if i don't notice i know how the fish jama jama for cameroon so you get this is strong stem them. So when you fix your vegetable, just like with the fish vegetable back home.
You move your jamma jamma so. Okay. You move your jamma jamma so you keep your stem there. Yeah. Not throw away your stem because your stem na nutrients. It be packed. You know this stem na they were most of the vitamin there because it be packed with it. So what I do now, say once I finish when I move all the leaves, right? I will leave the stem. The stem them, I cook them. So I just can't take them. Chop them into smaller pieces. So why you want to do your stem? I say, waiting. When I move the stem, I go put the stem first for fire. Give it like five minutes, made done first. So that it will come a little bit softer before I can put my leaf for day. So just like with the fixed vegetable back home, or like if you go farm, pick your bitter leaf, or your and cheer, whichever one, wanna, whichever vegetable you want to be used to. Want a few replace them with this one or so. So I just simply move the stronger stem then. Why do you pre wait? So you see why the way they're over made, you wait, you fix your vegetable just like what you do and back home. Sometimes the back home one with the cook with the throw with stem. So I want more to pay attention, say. Stem them be full of nutrients, so more could not throw away the stem them anymore because your stem them pack be packed of of um, nutrients. So I keep the stem the one side, then cut my vegetable. The size where you cut your vegetable no matter. So if you want, if you be best way you like your vegetable smaller, cut them smaller. If you best way you be for time consciousness, you cut them big, you cut them big. So me, I don't really like I'm too small. So I cut and big. Once I cut and so then I come again another way like this. Turn up. Remember now vegetable, it goes softer when you enter inside pot. So although it looks much, it is not much. Once you go inside pot, it is become small so when you're looking not just take it small so you just say you want to correct because if i put only that one i don't move on so though it look like say my pan don't flop you know that correct so i don't hear my fire i don't make pum 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 i put my this thing now 15 minutes so you put it for oven make use of your oven in time because all almost all ovens and get timer so when i make use of an oven in time you put your timer for day do you want a thing where I don't need to go to the turn and put them because the place where I put the oven first, I want to bake. When I will say I will just brown correctly, no go feed burn for 15 minutes. And again, radish, if you chop them raw, so you don't want um, you don't want to make it overdone. You want to get that crispiness still for the after you don't bake them. Okay, so I want just fixing my vegetable, then I will take my camera to the pot. I will fix that cook. I will fix that saute. I will saute literally just there like how we, if you want to make spinach, saute. Like I talk, the size of your vegetable not really matter, doesn't matter. If you like it bigger, if you like it smaller, and no matter how you do, when it goes to the pot, it will shrink. So, wait till I notice I'm, I've cut my leaves then, put them on a separate bowl. Then I get this small bowl for cut my stems. Because a lot of times then we tend to throw away stems when I for day where the nutrients are all day. Most of the nutrients are there for inside the stem. So it, rather than go throw the stem, and the reason why you throw the stem because they be hard. So how about you just cook them a little more? Cook them more, give them more time for cook before you actually put your green. The softer part of it. So 
So now in that. Now, make we go start cook. I've already cut my onion, cut my tomatoes, and everything. I've done cut my onion and my tomatoes. When I the two things and then you can so just come. I've already cut my onion and my tomatoes when now the things in that way are the other spices that word you use them for cooker. So what you do now, you on your gas. Like I talk, um, when my take the cook, and my healthy fat this way, na coconut oil, why do you use them? Or use them for saute my pot. So like I talk, when my take the cook, good. when my take the goal for a cooking, I say, you want for cook with, with minimal um, grass. We want for reduce our oil intake and we want for reduce our sugar intake our salt intake. So you want to reduce your oil, in, your oil intake and your sugar intake. Okay, good. So you want to reduce your oil intake and your sugar intake so that the go proposal for my turkey cooking. So what I will do now, I warm my pot for saute my shrimps because I get shrimps way now I'll use them for day. I get one cup shrimps I get one cup shrimps where we are going to use them for, for the cook and they might fix this thing for me when I see the inside pot. Mm -hmm. I want to make a soda when I see the inside pot. I know a lot of time that when I go live, people that they say they need to see my pot. So now when I see my pot, so I don't just pull it from my fire. I get one cup, one cup shrimp so I will put on there. So, for this saute um, today, I do not just three things and what I use them for saute my tasting today. Tomato, so I did my coconut oil this. I just take one tablespoon coconut oil and that will be all for you while we use them for the chop. So one tablespoon coconut oil. Then or make I make the oil melt, which I just turn on the side, turn on so that made the oil melt a little bit. Because when you put hot fire, your oil melt. When you put your shrimps, it will be like so you fry them. So you will get that little frying, frying flavor for inside. And I don't mind my pot. I'm not doing all luxury, but so I warm, warm my oil. Leave I make my oil warm. Then I feel bring my things of a corner and the same. So I get shrimps. I get a cup. So this is my bowl them, but just so when I know this bowl them, they be equivalent to one cup. So like this shrimp so now one bowl now one cup. This tomato so now one cup tomatoes. Then I get one cup onion, chopped onion. And then I get this one a two ounce of garlic. I chop garlic. I really Normally, I'd always cook with grand garlic, but when I didn't make saute vegetable, I know I really like prefer for use my saute, um, chopped garlic because you will really get the taste of the garlic. Again, the spices the way you use them or the protein where you use them for cook your chop, use your own, do your judgment, do your own protein. I, I tend to like more seafood, so if I don't notice, I'll cook more with seafood. But although not shrimp, I use them. If you use meat, if you use cow meat, if you use smoked turkey, any kind of vegetable way, any kind of protein way you like them. So my oil don't hold even aside, it really fine. No, when I put an in, I go be like fried. And they go that because I want to be like, like fried. Of course, you know one may burn, so when you put them, you want to turn them. So I don't just put the shrimps. I not put no water so in. So I'll first of all put. I want if I made the shrimps be a little bit like it fry a little bit, just the shrimps. Like I say it fry. It give a different good flavor. 
and oh boy for another the cook coconut oil on a try it gives a very good flavor and when i know coconut get that end kind of sweeting and taste for this so it will really give a good flavor today i need to put pepper because it's one of the food my husband likes so and he doesn't eat pepper too much <laughs> so he doesn't like pepper so when i'm making the food that he eats and that he likes i will not put pepper there but of course, I get my granted the way me around keep up the house. So those are the things the way you definitely do and based on your own family style. So if you people want to like pepper, go ahead and put your pepper of your taste. But one of the two, I want to really pay attention while we cook. One of the things that we'll get them back home, we will need to pay attention while we cook away. So now my thing don't fry fine, so I get to lower my fire because if you're not, if you're not the thing, I'll be stuck also with very high fire, with very high heat. Because I want to, when I put them first, may get that frying sensation, may it look fry. So now, I want to leave my shrimps make it steam. So I'll lower the fire. Now, I know what you said, the pot look dry. Shrimps, they, they come out um, water. So as it's there, so as I don't lower fire now, it will start coming out water. So by the time I cover the pot, I put a little bit of garlic. So I just steam the shrimps with just garlic and onion. I leave a little bit because I like to put that garlic and onion a little bit brown, so I don't want to put that green vegetable. But I will, it will get that fresh cook for the vegetable. Since the shrimps don't be big, big shrimps, then I want to know I like shrimps are not big. It needs to stay for, for done. You cover your pot, you wait for like five minutes, you want to come with your shrimps done, done the done. So I'll leave the shrimps there for two minutes because in the process of cooking the shrimps, I know you only leave the shrimps for that five minutes. I'll leave them for two minutes just with the onion and the garlic. May marinate. So where you boil with the onion and garlic, it will enter for the shrimps. It will give the shrimps now a taste. So you're not know, going to need to put salt for your shrimps. Because the garlic and onion could give your shrimps a very good taste on its own. Most of the time, the only you notice these things, and because don't be used to say once would would cook, would you just put in the salt automatic because now so would they grow we way they cook. So I just leave myself for one to two minutes. Why they cook there? I just want to tell say I beg for another take time for wash my take a new video way come out this Saturday. I will post them for Facebook on Saturday and then it also it's there for Facebook for my page so when i go for my take by gina f facebook page when i scroll down my page hey i like i like more now give me one time on tell me how i like my page my my take it page i need this i need a survey from una seriously my fans i need a survey from una for go for my take for rate my take when i read my take when i tell me how i did do how way to be on looking at all the interaction and all the things the way my take they do how when i read that page i go really glad for year yeah, wait way when I talk about the things and what you do, because when I know life expands as you live it, and feedback be very important. I know I know care the kind of feedback on a gear when I just leave a feedback, because any feedback on a gear go help me a lot because I will read them, and then I go try for make things better. I, again, life is a learning process. You learn every day. You learn from your mistakes, and you learn from the things the way you do and write. So. I beg you not forget for leave feedback. For, if you go for my take by Gina F, you go ask you for leave a little feedback for the when I feel leave me feedback for my page. Just tell me how they do it. My overall, my take. What when I think about my take itself? Is my take something that is good? Is it whatever when I think about my take? When I just put a, a feedback. So if when I see them now, if when I look my pot, it be like fry now. It don't be steam. So the onion and the Yes, when I feel do for YouTube too, when I feel leave me feedback for YouTube. When I feel leave me feedback for YouTube too. When I feel comments for Facebook, for YouTube, anywhere. And for YouTube, when I see the video for YouTube, as a video for YouTube, they go on. So for under the video, so small box always is the way when I touch, I give them a place for type comments. I really, really appreciate when I, when I comment. So now I don't leave them for two, three minutes. Now, I want to start 
put everything there. So now it's all do. I'll put my tomatoes. Once I put tomatoes, because tomatoes will come out lots of water too, I will increase my heat. I'll put my tomatoes and then I will put that stem, that my Kylie stem, I will put and then now because it will take longer time for done. So I don't put my tomatoes, I don't put my Kylie stem. I know the way we would cook, the way we would normally cook back home, I say, we go first of all steam the shrimps, which now another way that we put the do and will be okay. You go first of all steam your shrimps, move them, then come put your oil. So you go steam your shrimp first, move them, that's what we mostly do, cook back home. Then come put your oil, fry just the tomatoes and the onion. Then once you don't fry the tomatoes and the onion, the water don't dry, the, the water from the tomatoes don't dry a little bit. Before now, you put back that shrimp so it will be boil and they, that's what you do. So if that is the way, I see the same way. It boils down, end up, the end product not the same. So me, I prefer this way because I the one for maintain my shrimps in nutrients. Because when I use the shrimps, when I use them in nutrients, I didn't maintain my shrimps in nutrients. So now why way I did do and so? Because... And why I did do my own soap? Because if you notice, um, I did steam my shrimps with no added wat wat water. Most time the what you do and back home, so because one boil the shrimps with the boil and with water and then put salt and put maggi already for the. But if you want to make your shrimp like my own soap, where you do and dry, with no water, you don't really need for boil and separately before you can put them because it is just done with the tomatoes and the onion. Now the whole process that because shrimps need to be hard for done. They will just be cooked now with the tomatoes and the onion and everything for the so now I will put back now the remaining tomatoes and the remaining garlic. I mean sorry the remaining onion and the remaining garlic. Then I'll cover my pot for two minutes. May it steam itself. Already, this one is so this one I already chopped with each up and so you want. So you just mix everything, then you leave and make steam now for five minutes. So something different. Well, make well, one more. I take no nasevity. You not throw away. You not throw away your your stems. Because most of the time we tend for throw away the vegetable is stem because it is a bit too strong. Instead of going for throw away, cook it a little longer. So cook it a little longer. Now one thing down on this The other two I want to take no say wait. I need to wash my kyle. Like you know, we don't be used to say when would the one cook. We don't be used to say when would the one cook. Most of the time when you cook back home, I'm gonna see my face. I give five minutes for for the pot for done. So we don't be to say most of the time what we want cook, we don't be so we wash vegetable first. Wait how would you wash I used to boil water. Would you boil water then put the vegetable there, squeeze the water out, throw away the water because we don't want to make the vegetable be soft. Right? So today I want more see another way if you cook the vegetable you will not do that process. You know, strain out the water because every time when you cook your vegetable, where you don't first put them for pot, you boil the water. When you boil that water, now the nutrients in that so you don't move and throw away. So I want more really pay attention to that. No boil your vegetable because back home one cook with boil water, put water for fire, take the vegetable, put and they turn and small for two to three minutes. May it soft because our purpose for doing as to one may it soft, right? So how about? You not you cut that process, no do one because when you do one, you literally take out all the vitamins and away. So now why way I do this way? So you put your stem up, leave your your stem way be stronger, may boil for more time, and the yeah, pum pum pum. And the yeah, pum pum pum. My radish is ready. I did make pum pum pum. So I'll cancel my oven because my radish is ready. I'll leave it for day just because I want me to stay warm. But the radish is ready. 15 minutes don't reach. It don't make pum pum pum. It means it don't ready. So my radish is ready. I'll just leave it for day because I want me my vegetable ready. Then I move them together. So it's a bit of tongue. I say, wait. No wash your vegetable again. Anytime I want to cook vegetable, 
with the boil water can squeeze them out throw away the water my sister they are begging and i stop the habit not being a good habit because once you boil the vegetable throw away the water you don't throw away all the nutrients because that green then so that green water will transfer so the, the 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 nutrients then for the vegetable then we remove away the color and that color that they are creating green color now for the way they are nutrients in there so you know one wash and boil and throw them no 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 because what you do also you take away your nutrients yep it is just boiling nicely like i want you take away your nutrients so now why were the one shown at this other way so that you will still get your vegetable will still be soft in your mouth but your nutrients will remain for your pot you know will throw away your nutrients so you will get your hundred percent of your nutrients you will get hundred percent of your nutrients so now one happy that one back with a make with a washer sister yes yeah, since you say you can can you do can you leave comments on, on YouTube? Yes, you can leave comments on YouTube. In fact, I really appreciate Una comments. Eh? If any man you leave comment, I go really glad because this thing is a working process. So when I tell me how I did do, I really appreciate them. I don't care how wait to be the comment. No feel bad say a comment go be nasty or too bad. No. Just be honest with which way you think when you hear the video. Just give me an, an honest opinion. I really appreciate people their honest opinion because now that honest opinion they help me grow now they help me do changes and change things them for make and make my take be better because my take it go na say waiting for me we all will life make it be better now the goal that for my take for help my woman them for empower my woman them and also for make and make small small day to day things and we will get them around make it be easier and another one thing too, now for bring out information, because information are one thing where you can never say you get enough. We all de learn every day. Every day we de learn, and we're supposed to de learn every day because every new day there is more to learn. Every day there is more to learn. So now my take it go that for be that bridge for bring out my own information and to know. And I I know a lot, and I'm very diverse with the things and where I know where. If he help many other people then too. So I did look my cook. And I don't forget on Wednesday. So what if I take the one you do and I say Monday, I go just come with one healthy dish because what I don't realize and I say when I do the healthy dish, the cooking and the talking, the video they tend to be the life they tend to be too long. So people where they want to go back for go look the cooking, like the process, they need to feed because they feel say the video be too long. So when I come Monday, now what I want to do now say, for Monday I will just come at the talk, at the cook. And I'm not going to get question and answer for Monday. Then on Wednesdays, now some day will be, some week will be Wednesday, some week will be Thursday, depending on my work schedule. But I hope most of the time it will be on Wednesday. On Wednesday, I go to come now with a Q&A section. Wednesday will just be now only question and answer. We talk about things and whether they happen, questions the way people they ask them for my videos then talk about elaborate a little bit about the videos and where i move them so every week i would come out for wednesday for good q and a answer people their question and also for talk a little bit more about the previous videos where it don't come out like i'll be talking for last week wednesday when i'll be following them. if i never watch a video i'll be going to go i'll be going live for wednesday last week for q and a and that last week for that video i'll be talking about Oh, my thing they look very nice. See, I feel put. Mm. See, when I get for try for cook, we know, we know salt. I know Maggie. When I go be surprisingly amazed, when I go be amazed, like, how much chop fit tastes without salt and Maggie. Thank you so much, Sister Toxic. Constructive feedback would encourage growth. So true, so true. Constructive feedback will encourage growth, and that is why I'm begging you. Now, why would I beg you now? For leave me feedback, for put comments on my videos, and and really, 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 um, 
tell me what you feel about the video i really appreciate it and i read all my comments and i read all i really read all my comments and i address any question even if that question when i get them in regards to the topic where i talk when i know feedback for write the question under the under the the video because sometimes if you make some video i'll give example so sometimes if you make a video like like the video for last week where i talk about time is irrelevant to success in another word for pigeon i say innovate innovate na a video way i really do and because na something will be close to me because na my life kind of my life story because a lot of people the day i'm something where you share your story people other people where they feel where they be there for that kind of shoes where they get your similar story or get a different story the way they be they feel reluctant or somehow it encourage them for no they not be alone do not be alone for that journey in a journey where we all the take a man again for life everybody path be tailored to his own way everybody path for a road i i'd call and say your path everybody path to success be different some people have it smooth some people have it bumps and bumps some people have it smooth then a bump some people have a hill first and after smooth everybody a journey they're different and all that the difference come with your upbringing the difference come with how you grow the difference come with your financial capability all those things them shape people their journey for life so it not be a bad thing for being for your journey for life but which i have to try to emphasize for that video where i talk about and for that one i just say no feedback no feedback so you know if you do something really time no matter but i leave that one for wednesday when i come for my q and a for wednesday we'll talk more about that weather because now two i go go q and a this wednesday this way this week it will be for wednesday this week will be for wednesday and i will go live for 3 30 p.m so when i join me for that live for wednesday more we'll talk about this um this really innovate because innovate in a very important video where i want me everybody watch her if you never watch her back when i go watch her either for facebook for my take by gina f page either for youtube for youtube type my take by gina f innovate because the title for youtube na innovate and literally na innovate i put at me for pigeon this time around innovate i will bend this thing time on and see my pot again because time the ratio mix my kyle inside the mixture I I really want to tell me say I don't buy camera when I see my inside pot. When I never hear tell me when I comment for my camera, oh hey, when I know how long I don't tell me when I need to see my inside pot. I tell when I say it come. How about this now? Hey ah, uh, when I go for tell me for my camera when I see my inside pot too. Oh, I'm so excited for this camera. So now I don't when I see it, I don't give that five minute while I talk. My shrimps be done. So now, literally, my shrimps overall, since I start to make the shrimps, it don't be 10 to 15 minutes. So my shrimps are really ready. So if when I look my pot, it be very dry. Water not dead. So because the tomatoes get water, I be put them for high heat. Now I don't lower the heat because water not there for the pot. So what I'll simply do, just mix my chop kai inside my pot and stir it. This kyle there about two cups. Wait when me I do I need to measure my kyle like in terms of cups just because when you buy kyle they buy them from bundle and just one bundle of those kyle then wait and sell them for, for market where I just buy them. So in that one bundle it did like five big stems kyle depending on how big the bundle they so and you make the quantity depending on how many people they will chop them. So they were I make them for the whole house of course I know many of this portion. It will be like five to six bundle because I get a big family. So when I just do one based on now, but for tonight, purpose, I make enough for two people. So now two people push on this. And I see what I tell when I say vegetable, it looks a lot, but it's not a lot. Once you put it inside the pot, it will disappear. But when you really make and you feel, look and say, oh, it looks a lot, but. So, you don't know, need for squeeze your water for your vegetable before you cook water. I bet you know, stop that habit. Now, one habit where I really, I don't know how much I feel emphasize them, but I want to really think about them. It makes no sense to squeeze out all the water. They're like, well, even one cook, even cabbage, with the first boil water, put the cabbage there, squeeze some before I can cook the cabbage when I squeeze and throw away the water. No, that is waste of nutrients, literally. 
when we do and so they literally waste the nutrients so now i don't put the leaf i know leave i'm again boil for too long one to two minutes just the toner one to two minutes i just the toner just like this for one to two minutes so now they call and saute because you literally just the toner left to right left to right my kylie leaf i know i leave them for too long because like I talk, I want for chop my kai with all in nutrients. I no want for do away with the nutrients. And vegetable, they so the more way you cook them, the more way they lose in nutrients. So vegetable, they just so more. I know the more you cook it, the more you take out the nutrients. So the lesser you cook a vegetable, when you want chop them, the more nutrients will you still get. And why we? A lot of people that they eat the kai just raw because when they eat them raw, all the nutrients they they. But even this way where I make them, you still get all your nutrients because you not throw out any water, you not strain out any water. So everything where they for you, all your nutrients they inside your pot. Now why I want for doing this way. So literally as we talk, my chop don't ready for chop. Once you put your kai for, for inside your pot, you are ready to eat. So I find my plate for start dish first. I will move my so when I don't see how it come out. That is this saute right there. Very nice. So now I want yes. I want dish my chop now. So I want dish my chop now. How was that cooking? Smart, easy and breezy. This is even easy and breezy. So I just find my plate. Man, move that. Man, move the. Man, move the radish. I wanna take a peek at it. It's so nice. If you make a radish, that will wanna try. Wanna tell me. Wanna comment for this video. I did put this in because I'm a pure. I put my hot pan there. No life. You know, put the hot pan directly to your surface. There you go. There's your radish ready to eat. So your kyle is ready. You're off my fire. Now it's simple but easy to make very healthy dish. When I feel Adam for a menu, I want to go like him. Now, tell me. So, you dish your kyle. I'm going to shift this one a little bit. This one don't take the whole space. Come. So, I get my plate so I don't dish my kyle. My kale. I kill, no, not mind me. This is my French language, it disturbs my mouth sometimes. I kill. So when I call, I say kai. I define, I define my pika. I will define my pika. So there you just dish it. It's eating time. Now see how I come out. My show at the back. You can have to see the back. See the back get that grill because this one get that that line like chicken, like where you grill chicken, they get that line, line. Where you make a like say so you grill them, not grill them. Voila. Now, if you want to add taste, you can add a taste of yours. What are now? See. The, kai, the, the radish inside, very nice. You don't lose any of the nutrients. You see, they're almost too raw, but it'd be easier for, for chopper. Mm, 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 mm. This is so good. This is so good. When I get for trying, when I tell me how we, how I like them, you take a little bit of the kai, a little bit of radish. And there is party in your mouth. 
Mm. So that is your delicious kai saute with your radish, baked radish. So when I tell me, when I try them, and when I tell me again, what I use one tablespoon. I recall what I use them for this plate now. I began my radish. My radish was um, was two cup radish. I just bake the radish. What I do for bake the radish, I just put black pepper and oregon. That's all I do. I put them for 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 oven for 425 degree, 15 minutes. 425 degree oven for 15 minutes, and you get your nice and good baked radish. Then I do my saute kale. First, I use I do not shrimps. I use so saute the kale. I use shrimps for this kale. This kale was two cup kale. I use one cup shrimps, one cup tomatoes, one cup of onion, and two ounce of garlic. That was all I use. To saute the shrimps for my healthy fat, I use one tablespoon of coconut oil for my healthy fat. So this is a complete meal. Very nutritive, very healthy. You enjoy it with no extra fat. When I try them, when I let me know how when I enjoy them. I thank you all so much for watching. When I have a great rest of our week, and please join me for live on Wednesday, Q and A, 3:30 p.m. Q and A this Wednesday. That means after tomorrow, I will go live for 3:30 p.m. for a Q and A. I want more to join me because I want to get an opinion about my last video and my previous videos. There, I love you now. I love you now. God bless you now. Not forget for share the video so that others will benefit from this good um, job. Thank you so much, Auntie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. When I give me feedback, when I tell me what I think about the video, I really appreciate it. Share, share, share the video, please.